Hey everybody, this is Lisa, the original Designing Diva. I just wanted to pop on and do a quick video of some things that I, I've done over the last couple days. Um, I've not been feeling the greatest, so I haven't been working, <laughs> doing what I should be doing with my craft room. Um, so I've just been kind of playing. And there's a couple things I've done. This was just something... It was a, a YouTube video that I found, and um, it was, a, let me just see if I can try and get the glare out of here. It was um, envelopes, a book with envelopes. And I don't know, the way she put them together, apparently hers, she didn't glue any of them. And, and hers did not come apart, apparently. <laughs> Mine, I got them all together. I got them all ready to, to, to go in the book and they all just, they fell apart. So I put them back together as best I could. It's not the greatest. Um, I mean, this is just for me. It was just something I was playing with. It's not anything I intend to uh, put up for sale. Um, I bound it as best I could uh, because it's, <laughs> It's a little wonky, as um, you can see, because they, they all fell apart. Um, I did another one, but I didn't have many uh, envelopes left. I pretty much used up my stock of envelopes on, on this little prize here. So I, I didn't, I have that set aside, but I didn't find it. See, it's still, it's still not right. Um... And that one, when I did it, I, I put a little Liquitex um, inside to seal them so they wouldn't come apart. Um, and then I had it, I had white cardstock um, on top, on the cover. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do something weird, <laughs> weirder for this book. And um, I put some paper towels and I thought it'd be interesting just to design the cover. I was going to design it with the white cardstock. I was going to do something artsy with the white cardstock. I thought, ah, the book is, the book is, eh, anyway. So what the heck? Let me try something different and see what happens. So um, it's glued on paper towels. So that's the first, that was my first, my first play play thing. Um, the second one I did, I have this huge sketchbook that I've had. Gosh, I think I got this when we were in Florida, when we were spending the month in Florida. I'm not sure, it, it, but it's huge. It's 12 by 16 inches. And I mean, I, <laughs> I will never be able to draw anything or do anything on that size paper. I mean, my, my artistic talent is very limited, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so what I did was I pulled out a bunch of pages, I cut them in half, and I actually cut them down again, um, because what I did was I, I put them together on the cinch. And it's been a long time since I used a cinch. Um, I actually, before we moved, I had one in Connecticut. And I donated it. I I have no idea why I did that. I did such stupid things, but I donated it. And when I got down here, I, I was watching cinch videos. I'm like, why you make books? Why would you donate a book binding machine? But I did. So I bought another one. And um, so it's been quite a while since I used it. And I had to cut it down even more because... Um, of the way the half was an odd size that doesn't translate to the cinch. So I had to cut it down even more, a couple, about an inch more, inch and a half maybe. And then I put a sheet of um, acetate over the cover to protect it. And it's still a little wet. It's not completely dry. But I had gotten these um, sheets of vellum from um, it was a private seller on Amazon, and I just went on to look 
and they're not available anymore. So I, she apparently didn't have very many to sell, but they're, they're very, they're pretty. They remind me of um, graphic 45 paper. They're um, very vintage and, and uh, very pretty. So there were these, which I think are probably eight by eight. I haven't measured them. And then there were some longer strip ones. So I put those on the bottom with, I decoupage those to the, to the cover. And then this, um, I have had, I cut this out to do on a book. I fussy cut this out, the lady's diary and the, I just love her. <laughs> um, fussy cut the name and the girl out. And, um, I did some, some, um, Oh God, I can't think of what it is. Sparkly stuff. I can't, <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. Isn't that awful? Um, and I've had this, I've transported it. It's transported from Connecticut to Florida to here, just cut out. It wasn't attached to anything, just the two pieces cut out. And amazingly it survived glitter. Thank you, glitter. Amazingly it survived. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to put it on this book before something happens to it. Um, I, I love this girl. She reminds me, I have pictures of my grandmother who was born in 1890. Um, so, I mean, it was a totally different time and I have pictures of her and this is how she dressed, honest to God, all the time. She was immaculate, immaculate clothes, hat, you know, jewelry. And she reminds me of my grandmother. So I just love her. So I put her on top and decoupaged over the top. And like I said, it's still, it's not quite dry. Um, and on the inside, I just put some, some random pieces of the, of the, um, the vellum. And then this is the back. And then there I put a piece of acetate on the back as well, just to protect the cover. And then this is just um, the sketch paper that I cut um, and bound with the cinch machine. So this one came out a little bit better. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll do stuff in that one. I don't know what I'll do. I probably won't. It'll probably just sit on a shelf till I decide to throw it out someday. Um, this one I definitely will use. But uh, so that was the other thing I did. This took me... That I, this thing I worked on yesterday and today, and it, <laughs> uh. and I saw another YouTube video after this had happened, and the, this demo put them together the same way, and she was like, and you can just leave them like this, but if you do, they're going to fall apart. Well, yep, they did. <laughs> they did. Mine did anyway. So... I have this little little diary, that little art journal that I did. Um, one of the other things I did was I had, <clears throat> I've never done it before, uh, the Reset Girl, the Crafty Club. This is the winter one. And they have a, um, to, not a tutorial, but they have a, um, a, wor a work along that you can purchase for ten dollars more so I did that so I, I bound this with my um, I have the staples one I forget what it's the punch uh, because the the happy planner one you can only punch like one page at a time and it won't punch it won't punch stuff like this all this is is um, the cutting boards from the Dollar Tree that I cut down as a cover. And then the actual cover I, um, I laminated. And then these are just the pages. I haven't done anything with it. I haven't gone on to the tutorial yet to, to play. Um, and this is the back cover. And just the... So that was another thing I printed up and put together and, and my printer did some really weird thing. So all the pages were all mixed up. They weren't in order. 
my printer usually prints back to front so when it's done it's in order and they weren't so I had to go through the whole thing and uh yeah and this is the other thing I've been working on this is a work in progress this was my this is the prayer journal that I spent so much time on and, <clears throat> and I finally came to the conclusion that it just wasn't going to work. It was, it was too, there was no, there was no rhyme or reason. There was rhyme or reason to it, but it was very unorganized to go through it for your prayers daily. Um, there were so many tabs and it was just, it was too confusing for me anyway. So what do I do? I go to a bigger book. <laughs> um, but I had, I had this, I've had this for quite a while. Um, I got this at Staples in Connecticut a few years ago. And I had it set up for Bible, Bible study. Um, I got the bigger, the bigger rings. These are metal, metal rings. And I decided it, it's big now because I have a bunch of paper in here because I don't know what I'm going to need. Um, that's why it's so chunky now. And I, I don't think it will be half of what it is at the moment. Um, but I was able to put in a couple, you know, a couple plastic protectors um, and a title page. And this was a saying, I don't know why I forgot this. I found, when I found this, and it was set up as my um, Bible study, this was a saying that I I included, it's in all my Bibles, and um, the will of God will never take you where the grace of God will not protect you. And I, I don't know why I didn't include it in my new prayer journal, but I did. And then what I did was every printout that I, that I added, I did lines on the back so I could use it. It wasn't wasted space. It wasn't just an insert. It was something that I could utilize as part of my actual functional part of my prayer journal. And so this is just a little, um, little intro, long intro that I wrote. Um, I haven't gotten very far. I've gotten through section one, I think, but this is, this explains, um, the prayer section, what the acronym, the pray, the pray acronym is, and in the pray section, what I included, and then this is, um, I had this in the other one, why praise was important before prayer, and again, the Lord's Prayer, I had that in the other one. And I reprinted all of these full size, eight, you know, letter size. And then on the back of this, what I did for the Lord's Prayer was I, I looked it up and documented the history of the Lord's Prayer. And then this is Psalm 113, which I also had in the other book. And again, on the back, I documented the history of Psalm 113. So it I know to me it gives me it gives it a little more meaning um and this is my actual like when i sit down and do my prayer this is what this is what i will do <clears throat> and then this is the thank 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 part the thank thanksgiving and the names of god and words in the Bible used to describe God. I, I haven't finished that. So this is about as far as I've gotten. Um, I have my sections all done. All my tabs done. And then I have, like I said, I have a whole, these are all the inserts. And again, they all have room on the back for writing. So I can probably, I won't need the inserts to become at the actual part of the prayer journal, my actual prayers. Um, and this will be at the end. It's another pocket. 
And then these are just blank papers that I have to write, you know, to write my prayers and stuff on. So, um, I, I think it, I think it's going to flow a little better uh, than the other one did, hopefully. Um, and I think it'll be a little more cohesive and easier for me to use on a daily basis. Um, and I also included, I didn't have any other one footprints. I, that's a saying that I've had, I've had a print hanging on my wall forever. And uh, I don't know, it's weird, but so that's what I've been up to. Uh, I have had a couple requests to do a tutorial on the, um, the um, composition books. So I will do that. I will get to that probably this week. I will, I will do that and post it. Um, and I think that's about it. I just, I just wanted to stay in touch, come on and show you what all I've been up to. And um, I have to really, I have to, hopefully I start to feel better. I think it's just overwhelm. <laughs> I think that's just what's finally getting to me is just being absolutely overwhelmed. I had, I had put stuff away, but there was no organization to it. And um, I was watching organizational videos the middle of last week, like in the evening, I would sit and watch them. And I mean, everybody had, they were so organized. Everything was all like things together. They, they were, I mean, there was no question if you needed something, you knew where to get it. And I have never had a craft room like that. I've never had a craft room that I didn't have to hunt for something. <laughs> I would know where most things were, but there was always something that I would have to hunt for, and it drove me crazy. So I had I had pretty much everything put away in here, but like I said, there was really no rhyme or reason to it. Nothing was labeled. So I think it was Friday. I pulled everything out and dumped it back in bins. I emptied out every single drawer in here. Anything that I had put away, I emptied out. So I am back to square one. And um, it'll probably take me a month or more to actually organize things in order. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with my, my work box. Um, I tried to move it today to get something out of it and the whole thing is just going to, the door is just going to fall off. <laughs> if I, I don't know what to do with it. I, um, I emailed, I did a video. I, I don't know if anybody saw it, but I did a video and it, the door is like 10 times worse. It's just kind of like leaning, <laughs> leaning out into the room at the moment. And I sent another email to um, to Scrapbox. I have not heard anything back. I had a viewer say, call them. It's easy to ignore an email, call them. So that was over the weekend, which I know nobody's gonna be there over the weekend. So tomorrow I will try and get a number and call them. And I know they're not gonna, I know they're not gonna do anything for me because it's over a year old. Um, I don't know what kind of a warranty. I have. To, I would have to look that up to what warranty it came with. Um, but I know it doesn't have a longer, nothing has a longer than a year warranty. And I know I'm just going to be on my own with it. And I'm just going to, I mean, the thing is useless. It. I can't leave it like that. The whole thing's going to fall apart. So... I don't know. I, I, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating me and really upsetting me. And I think that was like 
the straw that that broke the camel's back that just sent me into a like I'm not gonna do anymore because <laughs> uh I don't know. Anyway, that's another story. Uh but so I'm, I'm kinda here I like the way this came out. Um and it's got manageable pages for me to do artwork on. Um, and I don't, I'm not, it's got, I'm not an artist. I don't, I can't draw to save my life. I do. Um, let me show you. I'll show you, I'll show you the, the extent of my, my artistic ability. This was a book I had started. Um, it's a Hobonichi, and I, I didn't keep up with it. And so I finally decided about halfway through the year of 2018 to just do memorabilia stuff in it. So like, this is my artwork, <laughs> my airplane, and this is my, this is my artwork. Yeah, this is my puppy. And the last one I had done was in June. We had just listed the house and the pages are starting to flow out. I don't know why, um, but <laughs> yeah, this, this, this is our home in Georgia. This is Florida. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am not an artist. This is my sad face. Um, <laughs> Georgia peach air, yeah, that's when Ernesto was going for a job interview. This is my bathtub. <laughs> Uh, oh Lord. This was Easter. Easter was on April Fools and we had a freaking snowstorm. This is up in Connecticut. Easter 2018, April 1st. I said and snow, no April Fools. Yep. That's my Easter bunny. He looks demonic. Yeah, so this that's the extent of my of my artistic ability. Um, but I will do things like, um, I definitely won't be drawing in it, um, but I'll do other stuff in it. Mixed media stuff and stuff like that I like to play. Um, and this I've never done before, the, the Crafty Club playbook. I've never done it before, but I thought I'd give it a try because I've got nothing else to do but play, so. Why not? Um, but they look fun. So anyway, I'm rambling now. When I oh, this pen, I love this pen, my Tombow pen. I have one and I keep losing it or I keep leaving the cap off of it. <laughs> I've stored them more because I love that pen. Um, what was I saying? Oh, when I when I do finish um, the war binder, I will come back and do a full a full tour of it again. And um, and don't mind my hands; it's from um, the dyes I used on on these. So that's it. Um, I thank you for watching. If, like I said, um, you know, if you'd like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, you know, like the video. I'm trying to build up my um, my base, and um, I would appreciate it. So again, I thank you for watching, and this is Lisa, the original designing diva, saying bye for now. Bye bye.